Have you ever felt like you don't quite fit in with the crowd? Like there's something unique about you that sets you apart? This feeling of being different isn't just your imagination. It's a sign that you have a special purpose or mission in life. You might notice things others don't, or you might have experiences that seem extraordinary, but these seven strange signs unmistakably show up in some people's lives, determining whether they're a chosen one or not. Some of them explain why your life can fee, el difficult, and others pave the way for your great. Destiny, for example. Have you ever walked into a room and immediately felt the atmosphere change, sensing energy shifts, whether positive or negative? is the first of the seven signs, one of the telltale signs of being a chosen one. But before we get there, let's understand a little bit more the uniqueness of your destiny, the uniqueness of being a chosen one. Many chosen ones feel their path is not like everyone else's from a young age. You may find that you're more sensitive to the world around you or T, that you have insights and intuitions that others don't. Seem to understand this can make you feel isolated at times, but it's important to realize that this sense of being different is actually a gift you're called to embark on a journey of self-discovery and transformation, guided by an inner knowing that transcends the limitations of the material world. The perception of those energy shifts we mentioned earlier is essential. You sense energy shifts. Now we're not talking about sensing a temperature change or simply being able to read the mood in a new E. Environment. Those are abilities most people have. We're talking about subtle shifts where 90% of people aren't even aware they're taking place. These are powerful movements in the energetic fabric of the universe. But the vast majority of people don't notice these as they happen. Maybe you can pick up on the vibes of the people around you without them saying a word. They can manifest in various ways, from changes in mood and emotions to shifts in physical sensations and perceptions. For those attuned to these shifts, they can serve as signposts on the spiri, tool journey guiding us toward greater awareness and understanding of the universe. This is not an isolated phenomenon. Chosen ones across history have studied the nature of energy shifts, with special mention going to traditional Chinese medicine. This field determined that an energy called qi flows through meridians in the body, nourishing organs and tissues, and maintaining health and vitality practices such as qiong and tai qi are designed to cultivate and balance qi, promoting physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. But you might be surprised, T. O-learn energy shifts are not confined to ancient, spiritual traditions. They also have a scientific basis in physics. Energy is defined as the capacity to do work or produce a change, according to the first law of thermodynamics. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. This principle just goes to show that every process of matter is connected, and energy shifts can have deep effects on the physical world. The realm of psychology has also explored this through mood or emotional states. A chosen one can identify you. Hence someone suddenly shifts from feeling calm and centered to feeling anxious or agitated for no apparent reason. These shifts can be triggered by external factors such as stress trauma or environmental stimuli, or they may arise from internal processes such as subconscious thoughts or memories by paying attention to these shifts and their effects on our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. The best part of this is that with practice, chosen ones can use this knowledge to their advantage. Sensei. Nung energy shifts allows a chosen one to develop a keen sense of intuition, a deep knowing that transcends logic and reasoning. It allows you to tune in to the underlying rhythms of the universe and discern the subtle messages that are constantly being communicated. But this ability, as with all the ones we'll see today, has to be honed through practice. The most common practice to enhance your energy-sensing intuition is meditation, mindfulness, or other contemplative practices. By quieting the chatter of the ego, you can create space for your intuition to spee, Speak more clearly as you meditate, pay attention to the signals and sensations that arise within you, trusting that your inner wisdom knows the way. Once you've honed your intuition, 
you can begin to use it as a compass for navigating life's challenges and opportunities. Trust your gut instincts and follow the guidance they provide even if it seems to defy rational logic. Your intuition is your inner compass, leading you toward paths of growth, healing, and fulfillment. And speaking of directions, while your intuition is one of your inner compasses towards growth, it's not your only one, haven't you? Ever experienced some really powerful dreams in the past? That's not a coincidence. The dreams of a chosen one are something to behold. You have vivid dreams, while everyone dreams yours seems to be on another level. Vivid, intricate, and sometimes prophetic, they feel like a journey into another realm. Dreams have long been regarded as a window into the soul, a realm where the subconscious mind speaks in symbols and metaphors. Many spiritual traditions see them as messages from the divine offering guidance, the insight and even prophecy to those who are open. To receiving them, Egyptians believed that dreams were messages from the gods, while the Greeks consulted dream oracles for guidance on important decisions. The ancient texts of the Vedas contain numerous references to dreams and their interpretation suggesting that they are a means of communication between the individual soul and the universal consciousness, and in the Bible their role is similar as dreams. They serve as a means of communication between mortals and the divine for chosen ones. Dream. As are not just fleeting images that fade with the morning light. They are immersive experiences that leave a lasting impression on the soul. These dreams are rich in symbolism and meaning, often containing messages and insights that can help guide the dreamer on their spiritual journey. But why do chosen ones experience such powerful dreaming? Some believe that it is because they are more attuned to the subtle energies of the universe, allowing them to access deeper levels of consciousness while they sleep but few have studied the realm of prophetic dreams as much as Carl Jung who drew from his personal experiences with the unconscious mind to come up with his conclusions. He determined D-E-T that there exists an expanded consciousness beyond our awareness. While this revelation may not offer a scientific explanation, it provides some insight into the nature of reality and the human mind. Prophetic dreams may serve as glimpses into this expanded consciousness, offering us insights into potential futures that lie beyond our immediate awareness. Alternatively, chosen ones may view prophetic dream, dreams as manifestations of our creative power in this. Perspective reality is not something external that happens to us, but rather something that we actively shape within our minds. Prophetic dreams then could be seen as anticipations of the future events that our minds have already set into motion. They reveal to us that we are not passive observers of the universe, but active participants in its creation. But chosen ones also have an easier time accessing a special dreaming state that most people aren't even aware exists. This is called lucid dreaming. This is the practice of becoming aware that you are Dreaming while still in the dream state, allowing you to consciously navigate and manipulate the dream experience, while lucid dreaming may seem like a modern phenomenon. It has roots in ancient Tibetan Buddhist practices, which are known as dream yoga. In dream yoga, practitioners train themselves to maintain awareness and control within the dream state, using it as a tool for spiritual growth and enlightenment. Use your dreams to your advantage. Pay attention to the symbols and messages within them as they may hold clues to your deeper purpose and speaking of. Symbols have you ever felt like no matter what fortunate things seem to happen to you for no reason? Serendipity abounds. Serendipity, often described as the occurrence of fortunate events, by chance is not merely a coincidence, but a series of events planned by the universe itself to assist chosen ones in their mission. While these moments can and do happen to anyone regardless of their spiritual alignment, the lives of chosen ones seem to attract serendipity more than anyone else's, but don't be fool. Add into thinking that these fortunate events happen to all. Chosen ones equally, only those aligned with their true selves, and the universe will receive them to get there. You need to vibrate at a frequency of openness, receptivity, and trust. In short, 
be open to receive positive opportunities only by developing qualities such as gratitude, humility, and surrender can chosen ones create fertile ground for these fortunate moments to flourish in their lives. It is during these moments of alignment that the veil between the seen and unseen worlds becomes thin allow, in glimpses of the divine to shine through. These serendipitous moments might seem like they defy logic and reason, but are signposts along the spiritual path guiding chosen ones toward greater wisdom, growth, and self-discovery. They're not mere strokes of luck, but reflections of their path, as the chosen ones walk the path of serendipity, they embrace each unexpected twist and turn with open arms, knowing that behind every seemingly random event lies a deeper purpose and meaning. Allow serendipity to lead you where you are meant to be, which often tends to be the unknown. And why is that? Well, that's the next strange sign that you're a chosen one. A yearning for the unknown, you're drawn to the unknown for the chosen ones. This desire is not merely a passing fancy or intellectual pursuit. It is a soul-deep longing that drives them to seek out the hidden truths that lie beneath the surface of reality. They are not content to dwell in the realm of what people know, but instead, they crave the exciting journey of exploration and discovery that awaits in the uncharted territories of the mind and spirit. It is possibly the reason while you are watching this video, but what's so attractive about the unknown? Perhaps it, it is because we sense on some level that the answers we seek cannot be found within the confines of the known world. We understand that true wisdom lies in the willingness to embrace the unfamiliar and venture into the depths of the mystery, where transformation and enlightenment await ancient philosophies and religions, also recognize the power of venturing into the unknown in Hinduism, the concept of NTI, NTI. Not this, not this, encourages seeker as to transcend the limitations of the material world by negating all that is known and familiar. Similarly in Buddhism, the path to enlightenment is often described as a journey into the unknown realms of the mind, where the true nature of reality is revealed. Even in modern psychology, there is an acknowledgement of the transformative power of stepping into the unknown. Psychologist Carl Jung coined the term individuation to describe the process of integrating the conscious and unconscious aspects of the psyche, which often requires venturing into the unexpi, lord depths of the subconscious mind, whether it's Delving into ancient mysteries studying esoteric teachings or exploring the depths of consciousness through meditation, you're always seeking answers beyond the surface level. Your thirst for knowledge and understanding propels you on a lifelong quest for truth, but just like fortunate things happen to chosen ones, due to serendipity chosen ones also attract great challenges to counterbalance their good fortune, and that's where most chosen ones fail to realize their destiny as the challenges we're uh, about to describe aren't for the faint of heart at all. After all, a journey into the unknown is not without its challenges and perils. It requires courage, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to the pursuit of truth. This will always lead you to the hardest challenges ever faced by mankind. The next sign that you're special. You attract challenges, like a magnet drawing iron filings. You attract experiences that test your resolve, challenge your beliefs, and ultimately catalyze your spiritual growth. These challenges are not random events but rather a port, unities for you to deepen your understanding of yourself, the world around you and your place within the cosmos along this journey, you'll encounter obstacles and difficulties that may seem insurmountable at times, but which ultimately serve to strengthen your resolve and refine your character. Still, you're probably wondering why you're attracting these challenges in the first place. Well, there's a secret reason which you'll soon discover as you keep watching in the words of spiritual teacher, Ert Toller. The challenges we face in life are always left lessons, though, that serve our soul's growth like a diamond. Forged under intense pressure, you'll emerge from your trials with newfound strength, resilience, and clarity of purpose. This occurrence has been recorded since ancient history. The Sufi poet Rumi famously wrote, 
The wound is the place where the light enters you, suggesting that it is through our struggles and hardships that we can connect with the divine and experience profound spiritual growth. Once again, we turn to modern psychology this time to the studies of Abraham Maslow, who proposed the concept of self-actualization, which refers to the process of realizing one's full potential, often through overcoming obstacles and fulfilling innate needs for chosen ones. Challenges are not viewed as obstacles to be avoided or overcome, but rather as opportunities for growth and evolution. They understand that each challenge they encounter is a reflection of their inner landscape, mirroring back to them the aspects of themselves that need healing and transformation. And good thing that all chosen ones have one particular trait that allows them to recover from any challenge, no matter how difficult it may be. If you're truly a chosen one, then you've probably experienced great power when you're in silence. That's not a coincidence. Solitude empowers you in a world filled with constant noise and distraction. There exists a silent sanctuary, known only to a select few. Solitude, you are not antisocial or misanthropic. Rather, you are drawn to the tranquility and inner peace that can only be found when you're alone. Your preference for solitude is not a sign of weakness or fear, but rather a testament to your deep re. Relationship with yourself and the universe you cherish. These moments of introspection and self-reflection, knowing that it is in the stillness of solitude that your true essence is revealed. So how to master this skill to improve your life? As we've seen, ancient sages tend to have the answers to these questions in past times mystics, would venture into the wilderness or seclude themselves in caves and monasteries seeking solitude as a means of deepening their spiritual practice and attaining enlightenment. They discovered that only when someone's alone, see, and they confront their fears and insecurities head on, diving deep into the depths of their consciousness to find the root causes of their inner conflict. When you're in solitude, you have the freedom to explore the darkest corners of your mind without fear of judgment or distraction. You'll be able to face your demons with courage and resilience, knowing that it is only by confronting their fears that you can truly overcome them. You'll find how the universe itself whispers the answers you see seek. You'll be able to listen intently to the whispers of you, or intuition trusting in the wisdom that resides within you. Remember that solitude is not just a physical state. It is a state of mind, even amid the chaos and noise of everyday life. You can create an inner sanctuary in your mind, a sacred space within you where you can retreat whenever you need. To find peace and clarity, carry this inner sanctuary with them wherever they go, drawing strength and inspiration from within, and it will lead you to unlock your most important ability and the last of the signs you're different from the rest. This is a unique gift that transcends the boundaries of the physical world, and touches the very essence of the human spirit, only one in a million people develop the skill to unlock hidden traits in others. Ancient sages have a specific name for this. They call it waking others up, having the power to wake others up through your own experiences and insights. You've come to realize that there is more to life than meets the eye and that the world is filled with hidden mysteries and untapped potentials waiting to be discovered as you delve deeper into the realms. Of consciousness and spirituality, you'll uncover ancient wisdom teachings and timeless truths that have been passed down through the ages. Armed with this knowledge, you'll embark on a sacred mission, a mission to share your wisdom and insight with those who are ready to receive it. It is time for you to become a beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness, shining a guiding light for others to follow, despite the hardships you may face. Remember to remain steadfast in your commitment to your sacred calling. You've been chosen for a reason, the reality that you've been given the power to wake others up for a purpose greater than themselves through your words and actions. You can inspire others to question the status quo, to challenge their beliefs and assumptions, and to seek truth and meaning in their own lives. You serve as a catalyst for transformation 
igniting the spark of awakening in the hearts and minds of those around you. Ever wondered why people around you feel a stirring within their souls, almost like a sense of longing and yearning for something more? That's because people are drawn to the light of your presence, captivated by the depth of your wisdom and the purity of your spirit. This power emanates from the very core of your being, radiating outwards like a beacon in the darkness, illuminating the path for all who are willing to follow. And as you walk this path together, hand in hand, you and those you awaken become co-creators of a new world, a world filled with love, compassion, and unity. Remember to walk the path of enlightenment with humility and grace knowing that you are but one small part of a much larger tapestry of Existence surrender to the flow of life trusting in the wisdom of the universe to guide you on your journey. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.